I'm barbecuing some chicken wings and I decided to do these on my Lynx 36 inch Pro Sear propane grill. So gas grills make up about 60% of the recent sales in the United States. Pellet grills are in second place and charcoal has recently fell to third place. So six out of 10 Americans own a grill, three out of 10 own multiple grills. So this video is for the gas and propane guys and gals. One of the most important things you need to know about grilling is how to use indirect heat. Since my grill has three burners, I'll light the two outside burners. I'll cook on the middle burner. Cleanup's a lot easier if you use a foil line drip pan. You put that under the food. And we got fire over here, fire over here, but no fire in the middle. So this is the section that we're gonna cook on and it's got the drip pan. I'm gonna warm up my grill with the burner set on high heat. Today, we're keeping everything extremely simple. We're gonna take the defrosting wings right out of the package, remove the wing tips and discard, and then I'm gonna separate the flaps from the drummies. But you can skip this step and just cook the whole wing if that's your preference. Now lay the wings out and cover both sides with the barbecue rub of your choice. Today I'm using Cosmos Q Dirty Bird. I have just enough room to cook all five pounds of my wings on the indirect heat section of the grill. We want to close the lid, flip the wings over about every 15 minutes. Okay, you can check the temperature with your instrument thermometer, such as a thermopin. And when the temperature is about 165 degrees, then it's time to glaze the wings on both sides with your favorite barbecue sauce. We're gonna to continue to cook with the lid closed until the internal temperature reaches between 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Today we cook some basic barbecue on a basic grill and these wings turned out outstanding. Remember that using the indirect heat is one of the most effective ways to up your barbecue game. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>